quarter and half wave plates. We've introduced two new elements, marked A and B. One is a quarter wave plate and the other is a half wave plate, but we don't know which is which. So what is a wave plate? Wave plates have two axes 90 degrees apart. They're usually called the fast and the slow axes. And light passing through par polarized parallel to the fast axis passes through the plate. It sees a lower index of refraction and passes through at a higher speed. Light polarized to the slow axis sees a higher index and passes through at a slower speed. So the light that passes through the plate has a phase difference introduced between the fast and the slow axes. For a quarter wave plate, that phase difference is some integer number of whole wavelengths plus a quarter. And for a half wave plate, it's an integer number of wavelengths plus a half wavelength. So the light that comes out is, again, a super, usually a superposition of light along either uh, of, of both of these axes. And so you end up with some superposition of this, this fast and slow light uh, passing through the plate. How can we tell them apart? Well, first, let's determine that they do, in fact, have fast and slow axes. These things are marked um, with, a, with a, a degree scale. Right now, I'm lined up with zero degrees on this. Let me stick it. Well, first, let me align our polarizers so they're blocked. Right? They're at 90 degrees to each other, so we have no light coming through the screen. And if I put this now in here, I can see I can align it. So we still have no light going through. Going, going through right? So light. If it's aligned with either the fast or slow axis, the polarization state is unchanged. There should be another one of these axes at 90 degrees, and I can rotate this and find, yes, indeed, there's another axis right there. And I can see it is indeed 90 degrees away from where I started. I can do the same thing with the B slide. I will start with the index mark at the top, put it in, and so yes, indeed, that is one of my axes. And then I can rotate it to find, yes, there's another axis right there, also at, also at 90 degrees away. So, so far, the two, the, two, the two plates seem to show the exact same behavior. If I align the light with either the fast or slow axis, it doesn't change the polarization, and I get no light passing through. What if I take one of my plates now, and instead of rotating either along one axis or along the other axis, suppose I align it along, say, 45 degrees. Let me go over to this side so you can see a little bit easier. All right, so there's 45 degrees. So if I shine light into this along the polarized along the vertical axis, some of it will be passing in along the vertical axis, along the fast axis, and some of it will be passing in along the slow axis. When I do that, I see, oh yeah, I, I, I do indeed get light now passing through it. What's the polarization of this light that's now hitting the screen? Well, as I rotate my analyzer over here, what do we see? I see there is, in fact, a dip in the intensity up here. All right, so the intensity is, reaches a minimum. When I uncross the polarizers, it looks like it reaches a maximum when I cross them. All right. That was for the B plate. Right? All right, what if I do the same thing for the A plate, right? I can take my A plate over here, and I can rotate it again. So I'm at 45 degrees. And when I put that in, what happens? All right, so for the A sample, again, I see light coming out. Just like, just like with the B sample. And what's the polarization of this light now? Well, if I rotate my analyzer,
now this is different. I don't see any change in intensity at all as I rotate the polarizer after, pass, after passing through the A plate. So there is a difference between the A plate and the B plate, right? The A plate, when I shine light in, when I orient it at 45 degrees to the polarization, I see no change as I rotate the analyzer. And when I rotate, when I put in the B sample with the same configuration, I see polarization, it, it's at least partially polarized. So you, can, you should be able to use this information to figure out which of these two plates is the quarter wave plate and which is the half wave plate.